Hey, sorry, I don't know why I started that way, but it's fun. Hey, welcome back. First article of the creed. God the Father, last time we talked about it, he creates out of nothing. He doesn't find stuff and make, he creates out of nothing. And we made, well, we, meaning the royal we, meaning myself. That may be a weight issue I have, why, why I say we, but that's okay. It's a different, different, uh, different episode. The reality is God creates out of nothing and he continues to do so. Luther makes this point in his lectures. He wrote all these volumes because he, he taught on Genesis for years. And in the first volume, Luther talks about how the word of God is always affecting creation. It's working on creation. It's like, well, things are different today than they were thousands of years ago. Well, you're right, because the word of God is continuously working on. The word of God speaks and affects creation. So the world looks different. I mean, the world looked different when God sent the flood. The world looks different because God's word is always working on creation. It's always creating. So we believe in things like mutation. We believe in things like not micro, no, macro. Macro is the big one, right? Macro evolution. We believe in micro evolution, those smaller changes, because God's word is always creating. It didn't just create one time and then God stood back and said, let's see what happens. That's deism. We're not that. We are theists. And even more, we are Christians who believe that God's word continues to be involved in his creation. And you see this every Sunday morning when you go to church. When you're brought to church, the word of God works on you. Just as it bespoke trees into existence, flowers into existence, cows and monkeys and gorillas and orangs. I'm really into the primates right now. All those into creation. So he bespeaks faith to be created in you. He bespeaks love to be created into you. He bespeaks patience. He knocks your stupidity out of you with the law and replaces it with nothing but humility and love with the gospel. His word still creates, not just things we see in creation, not brand new stuff, but working on those things already in existence. So does he continue to work on you as well, creating that which did not exist now into existence, meaning things like eternal life, salvation, and love, patience, gentleness, kindness, self-control, all these things God speaks into you all the time. God bless you all. We'll see you next time. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.